Welcome back everybody, I'm Jake Brown from General RV. Well, that's a wrap. Today is the seventh and final day of our virtual RV show. We're gonna take a look at some of the highlights from this past week. Let's take a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt, and today I'm super excited. So behind me is a 2021 Wildwood Heritage Glen 378 FL. How you doing? I'm Dave Shannon with Impression Fifth Wheels by Forest River. Hi, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa, Florida. And today we're going to be taking a look at a very special RV. It's one I'm extremely excited about. My name is Tommy Kaler, and I'm the national sales manager for Coachman's Class B Division. Hi, my name is Dustin Tavernier from Keystone RV. I'm the product manager for the Arcadia product line. Hi, I'm Anthony from General RV, and welcome to Camp, camping accessories and motorhome parts. Hello, I'm Derek Massing with Forest River Ibex, and today is our first look at the 20 BHS. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Swan with Forest River Salem Division. I'm here to give you the first look at the new Salem 31K QBTS. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the biggest toy haulers on the market today. And now, Tom will give us an exclusive look at an RV so well-rounded, we decided to award it Best of Show, the Fleetwood Fortis. Thanks, Jake. Hi, everyone. I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist here at General RV in Tampa, Florida. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the all-new 2021 Fleetwood Fortis 33HB, a motorhome I'm very excited about because it's the shortest bath and a half Class A gas motorhome out there right now. So let's take a look. The first thing you notice as you walk up to the RV is this beautiful exterior. This has the partial paint, jo paint job, which has some gray, some blue, some beige in there, but it just stands out very well. Also the front of the motorhome here, your full fiberglass front cap has a really nice look to it, full height, and it's something we, uh, we really like. Now this motorhome is built on a Ford chassis and it's the 22,000 pound full size Ford chassis. So that means that you get these all aluminum 22 and a half inch wheels, whereas most RVs in this price point are gonna have the 19 and a half inch steel wheels. Just gives you a little bit better ride, also more cargo space and altogether better roll stability. Now you have these side opening bays here. This is a fully insulated door and it gives you pass through storage that goes from one side of the RV to the other. So right here, you have your outside entertainment center. So that's a pretty large TV. I think it would be great for tailgating or hanging out outside. Also, you have these built-in outside speakers. So you have music as well. As we move towards the back, it's your propane tank. I want to note that this is pretty large. It's a 24.2 gallon propane tank. So it's not something you're going to have to fill up pretty uh, often. Nice little feature and then some extra storage right here. Now this is a little unique. You don't see these extra bays built into the side of the RV like this, but it just shows you how Fleetwood put a lot of time and effort into the design of this RV. Another pass-through storage bait here. So that's the second full pass-through bay we've gotten to so far. Right underneath you have an outside propane disconnect. So if you carry a grill, something you'll be able to hook up to your onboard propane very easily. And then another, this is the third very large storage bay you have on the RV. So for a 33 foot RV, it gives you tons of, of storage outside and there's a lot inside as well. 
built-in hitch here so you can tow up to 8,000 pounds. And here is your generator. Now this is the 5,500 watt Onan generator, so it's a larger size to handle two ACs as well as anything else you plug in on the RV. And here's your um, electric hookup, and also this is part of one of your pass-through storage bays. Right here you have an outside shower built in overhead, and then your, um, your water bay here. So you have your black, your gray tank, as well as a whole house water filter that's built into the RV. It's pretty easy to get to right here, so anytime you want to change your filters out, you won't have to find it in some weird spot. It's pretty convenient. A few more storage bays here. This is another one of your pass-throughs. And then in this one, you have the hydraulic reservoir for your leveling system. So this has an automatic leveling system. It's two buttons on auto, and you'll be level wherever you decide to park your RV. And this is the last of our pass-through storage bays. Now let's take a look inside. Wow. First thing you notice when you walk into the RV is that you've got a really nice living area here up front. It's wide, it's open, there's great windows as you walk around. So let's start up here in the driver area. Now Fleetwood builds this driver compartment with convenience in mind. Being that it's the 2021 Ford chassis uh, means that this has the V8 engine. You know, prior to this, they had a V10 6.8 liter engine, but this has a V8 7.3 liter engine, which gives you a better ride and more power. Also, they've upgraded the electronics in the RV, so you have digital components built in and a much nicer steering wheel. It's just much more comfortable and you have the buttons built in right there. You know, as you're driving, there's two separate uh, touchscreen panels right here, one of which is for your cameras in the right, left, and rear, and the other is for your stereo, navigation. This one also does Apple CarPlay or, or hooks up to your phone, so you can use those features as well. But altogether, very open, very spacious. You have a very comfortable seat here and, um, and pretty good visibility on all sides. So moving back into the home part of the motorhome, I'd like to talk about the living area. On your passenger side here, you have reclining chairs. So they're directly across from your TV and it just gives you that extra level of comfort for those times when you're hanging out inside the RV. Above your cab area, you have your drop down bed. So if you'd like to have guests with you, family, friends, whatever it is, you have a place for them to sleep comfortably as well. For storage, you've got pretty good sized storage space right here on this side. So these go all the way back. It's a great level of storage here. On your driver's side, you have storage underneath your bay here. And then a good deal of storage in your kitchen as well. So nice big bays here behind your solid wood cabinets. Lots of storage here as well with these drawers. And then storage under your sink as well. Also, your kitchen here has a lot of counter space, whereas most of them are a little tighter. This goes all the way back, so there's all of this area back here where you can keep a coffee pot or anything else you plan to use. You've got a convection microwave and also an oven with a three burner cooktop built in. Now, this floor plan offers the bath and a half setup. So it's great for when you have guests, um, you have your bathroom right here in the middle and it doesn't really take away from your living area, whereas a lot of them do. I'd like to show you that half bath. For a half bath, it's definitely got some good size to it. Lots of counter space, storage on both sides here. So your guests are gonna be able to be comfortable as well. And right behind it, you have this big closet. Now this RV is optioned without the stackable washer dryer in here, but this is pre-plumbed for a washer dryer. So for those who choose to have that appliance as well, it's something that can easily be set up in the RV and it's designed to house it. Um, right across from that, you have your residential refrigerator. So this is an all electric RV that's gonna be more convenient, cools down quicker, and it gives you much more space as it would compare to an old gas electric. Moving into your bedroom, 
well, I guess we're still in the kitchen here. Um, right here, you also have another pantry area. So altogether, your storage here in this 33-foot RV is significant. Um, here in the bedroom, king-size walk-around bed. And one thing that's nice here is that there's plenty of space to get it in. And you can reach the whole bed. So making the bed or just living here comfortably, it's going to be um, pretty nice. Also storage over the top of the bed there and a window on both sides of the RV. Now on your driver's side, you have another window here and then a lot of cabinets. You have these pull out drawers, you got six, eight, ten of them, and then his and hers closets for hanging space as well. Now the best thing about a bath and a half floor plan is the rear bath. It allows you to have a much larger bathroom as it would typically compare. So as you come back in here, you have a ton of vanity space, storage underneath over here to the side and above the toilet as well. And then a nice medicine cabinet storage area too. The shower here though is what really stands out because this is a very large shower. It's got the width and has the length to it, plenty of height there as well. And then a glass enclosure. So this RV overall is great for a long trip you can stay in here with all the storage and comfort you have in your appliances very um, very well and you also have additional sleeping so it has just a very versatile use for those of you who plan on using the rv uh, for different purposes at different times i think this one would be great so thanks again for checking out the Fleetwood Fortis 33HB with us here today again i'm tom bennett motorhome specialist here at general rv in tampa florida if you'd like to learn more about the rv Please come visit us at one of our super centers nationwide or check us out at generalrv.com. Thanks again and back to you, Jake. Well, thanks again to everybody that tuned in and followed along this week. Make sure you go to generalrv.com to find the RV of your dreams. We'll see you on the lot.